front pass. Uh, templates are off, obviously. You can see the screw holes. And uh, they've got the router set so it can catch that last three eighths of an inch. Whoops. And uh, that should take care of business. The pieces that I don't need obviously just fall away. And I have the uh, half of the workpiece hanging off the edge of the table. It doesn't need to be super secure, it just needs to not move around while I'm routing it. And I don't want to hit my own workbench with the router bit. So I've got a nice little path worked out where starting here. And then once I get to here, this bit here will just fall out. And then I can trace this guy to the edge. Flip the pieces around and do it again. Then I will have two halves which I can, I'm not going to super plane them, but I'm just going to get them so that they can be glued together. And then we'll do a, a neck pocket in one of them. Okay, roughly speaking, this is the area that I'm going to route out of the body. And then uh, once I glue it together, we've got some uh, sort of cleanup to do, which I can actually do with the router. In terms of term making the side smooth, I can just sand one surface as straight as I like it and then use the router to make the rest of the body match that. It's kind of a neat idea. Anyway, um, there's where the neck pocket's gonna get in. I might have to make this a little thicker, so I might sort of bubble around it a bit. Um, but anyway, I need to get to uh, routing this so that the middle bit falls out and then match it on the other body. Well the first pass is an absolute breeze the second pass is the tricky one because you're routing through a space that uh, is only as wide as your router bit and there's nothing to stop you moving outside of the path that you're trying to route. So that takes a little more finesse. And then the third pass, my bearing is exposed. So that was a snap as well because then I can just follow the path, effectively follow the uh, first path. So, anyway, one more pass to make that big block in the middle fall out. And I'm thinking of uh, screwing the two bodies together so that I can uh, kill two birds with one stone and get that pass um, to include the initial route on the other workpiece. Well, I'll see if that, I'll see if I can work that out. All right, that worked about as well as I was expecting. There's half of my soon-to-be guitar body, and now I've got just a shallow little path that I can follow, and uh, route the other half, and then glue them together, and there you go. Now you're probably thinking, boy, for walls of an acoustic, these are incredibly thick, and yes, they are. I uh, don't want to sacrifice the weight. Um, because this is going to be a very neck-heavy guitar when I'm finished with it. And uh, it's not actually going to be acoustic. It's, right now it's a 2x4. So um, this is going to have some resonance. Uh, probably not even going to have a front hole on it. I'm going to just put holes here in the side of the body pointing at me so that, it, well, it'll be the other side, but uh, so that I can hear the guitar while I'm playing it. That'll kind of be the way this one works. So, let's finish this routing and then we can glue this body into one cohesive chunk. Alright, here's uh, why it's a good reason to wear solid boots. This chunk of wood fell out when I finished routing and landed right on my toes. And of course, it didn't hurt because I got good boots on. So anyway, I'm going to glue these two suckers together and then we have to route the neck pocket from one side, precisely enough to fit my little uh, Fender Mini Strat neck, and then the other side I just have to make it thinner because it won't, uh, the neck won't quite, um, well the screws aren't going to reach through that much wood because this is uh, more than a body's thickness, an electric guitar's body thickness anyway. So it'll have to be routed from both sides, but the other side I'll just sort of hack and slash and make the body thinner around the neck joint so I can put the screws through it. All right, we got our body ready to go here. Marked a center line. And now we just have to 
cut out that shape. And I, I, I cut this out so that I could make some, uh, you know, measurements when I was making the template. But I actually think I want the other piece of this, which is the exterior, so that I can route inside of the lines as opposed to trying to route off the pattern that I have here. And that seems to work well for me. I've got to be careful because I don't have a lot of surface to balance the router on. So this is going to be a bit of, um, well, care. Do and care attention uh, required. But anyway, I'm going to go figure out the depth I need off of the old uh, mini strap body and then figure out the thickness I need off of the same and then route a larger pocket off of here so that I don't have this great big fat chunk of wood behind the neck that I gotta get my hand around. Uh, I think that'll work. Now there's a trick. Get this guy set down first then you glue the paper around it so when you're ready that's what we're routing out. Except for rounded corners um, and in fact this is a telly neck so what I need is my pickup cover scratch plate there it is so when the time comes well, I'm gonna have to get that tone knob off but I can then line this up and then use that under the router to get a nice perfect rounded edge at the front there front of the neck pocket awesome because I already know this fits that neck perfectly this came off the same guitar beauty. Wherever you can, screw or glue the template to the workpiece because then it's guaranteed not to slip or move and this entire surface is going to get covered with something so you can have screw holes in it. Who cares, right? Okay, I suddenly find myself uh, having run out of time to continue this so there's two ways I can do this. One is just make this a telly routing by making it squared off and I've set the fence for that, and I've also tried the um, the uh, the W routing, which is a Fender Strat neck sort of rounded one, and uh, I've uh, penciled that in place. So with my router, I'm going to try and freehand it, and if I mess it up, then I'll just square it off like a tele routing, and who's going to care? So uh, we'll have the front, uh, sort of the neck pocket part of this done, and then the neck back. I will uh, do after, but uh, I've got about 10 minutes before it's time to take the kids on a hike because it's a holiday. So there you go.